Different video today, going through what is easily the most useful and fully functioned website for drone users in the UK. Whether it's finding a good place to fly or take off from, uh, checking the airspace or restrictions, finding out what rules apply to your model drone, who owns the land you're on, or checking in advance whether or not the DJI Geo restrictions are gonna kick in, the Drone Scene app literally does it all for you and a load more. And that is what I'm talking about today. I'm Ian and I play with drones and today I'm talking about what I think is easily the most useful and completely free website that works perfectly on phones as well as a desktop PC or a laptop. I called it an app but it's just a website, as I said it works perfectly on your phone and it will literally give you all the information that you need for getting up in the air. It's called Drone Scene and it has been completely developed by those uh, friendly but extremely talented guys who run the Grey Arrows Drone Club based here in the UK. Now I've been an active member on their forum for a good few years and over the last year they've been working hard on their interactive website called Drone Scene to help their members find good places to fly more easily. Now many of you will know that I've often recommended the Nats Drone Assist app powered by Altitude Angel. Uh, that's because you are getting uh, the air restriction info direct from the horse's mouth so to say as it's all run by the uh, UK National Air Traffic Control. That is one of the reasons I've taken to Drone Scene because it, is, it directly links with the same data used by uh, Nats Drone Assist. So you're getting precisely the same air restriction information plus truckloads more of additional layers and functionality, which I'm gonna go through now. It works best if you already have an account with the Grey Hours Drone Club. Uh, it's a free club. Uh, again, there is no money anywhere for any functionality in this website. It's a free club that uh, revolves uh, very much around its forum, but it also has loads of regional meetups around the country. So if you want to meet other flyers, you can take advantage of that. So first off, click the top right layers button. Uh, here you're gonna choose your map style, whether it's road, satellite, hybrid, or dark mode. Then you can choose your overlays. Uh, these are the various layers of information that you can lay out over the map. Uh, there's two sets showing the ground and the airspace info. The ground-based overlays include locations, showing good sites to take off and fly from. These have been uploaded by other members and it's obviously easily one of the most useful overlays that pretty much makes uh, this site truly unique with over a thousand tried and tested takeoff locations throughout the UK, all automatically displaying the what three words location as well. Next up, you have got the foreshores and estuaries showing where the Crown Estate own and uh, own the land and the Crown Estate normally permit uh, drone flying as long as there's no crowds. So very useful layer there. There's also the National Trust land who usually have a blanket ban on taking off or controlling a drone from their land. Of course, they cannot stop you flying over it uh, from adjacent land. But again, it's a useful overlay to know when you're standing on land owned by the National Trust. Airspace overlays are airports, airspace restrictions, uh, flight restrictions showing the airports, runway protection zones, and generally uh, general airspace uh, restrictions using the same data as I said as the National Air Traffic Control NAT app. These layers are critical, I think, to ensure that you're not flying in a restricted airspace and, uh, and therefore risking a hefty fine. So you're always gonna wanna have that on. But there are more layers, including the incredibly useful DJI Geo zone, which is unique to drone scene. It shows where all the DJI drones will be restricted. And it is particularly useful as the, D uh, the DJI Geo zones don't always resemble actual UK airspace restricted zones. So this way you're at least not gonna waste the journey finding out that you can't fly once you actually get there. There are a few other useful layers too, including the ground hazards and the other risks layer, which highlight things like schools, power lines, railways, whilst the uh, NOTAMs layer will show up any NOTAMs, the notice to airmen, uh, that are gonna be, uh, that are posted in that particular area. But anyway, look, that's the list of layers that you get from the top uh, right drop down. Below that, you have got a, a list of buttons. Uh, uh, these are layout and functional buttons to add additional information or change the look and feel of your screen. Um, I'll go through them now quickly. First off, you've got the plus and minus, the simple zoom feature. Uh, you can also uh, pinch 
or spread directly on the screen to, to zoom in and out, pretty much like a, a, any other app. Next is the search feature where you can search pretty much for any town, postcode or map coordinates and it will then take you directly to that specific location. Below that is the zoom to my location feature. So you can simply click that once you're out of the car and you can see exactly what the situation is um, around your current location. And below that, you've got a full screen mode to maximize the amount of map that you're going to see on your screen, which obviously is very useful when you're uh, viewing it on your phone. Now, when you're planning your flight, you sometimes need to know how far you're going to be from certain specific features or buildings. So below that, there is a measure tool which will outline the specific distance on screen for you. Likewise, if you're flying near hills, the elevation tool will actually show you the ground elevation at any specific point. Again, really useful, especially if you're flying uphill or downhill from your, your takeoff point. So uh, another really, really useful little tool there. Below that, you've got a button which shows which local authority is covering the particular area you're in. And that's useful in case there's any generic bylaws, if you like, for, for, for where you're flying. And then finally, you've got the direct share button that will send the exact location, layout and layers that you've selected to somebody else. So they can literally click that link and they will see exactly the same view that you have got, which I think is pretty smart. So that's pretty much everything to do with the layout and the look and feel of things on your phone, on your desktop or on your laptop. There are also some good function, uh, functional features uh, along the top, which I'll very quickly run through now as well. Um, up in the top left, you've got the About menu option. And this is literally the expanded help for all the features that I've been talking about in this video. It is all on one page, so you can check it out to get more details on any of the points or the layers or the meanings of the layers and the functional buttons that I've been uh, speaking about. Next up, you've got a direct shortcut to the official drone code uh, as outlined by the Civil Aviation Authority. So useful if you need to check any rules or back up the fact that you can fly where you're flying. Um, over the next one, you've got drone insurance. Now this is a real comparison style page on insurance covering all the different types of cover with the typical costs and direct links to them. Uh, literally compare the Meerkat, eat your heart out because it's got all the information on insurance that you need. Good to go is a great new tool. It's a very, very new tool. They brought it in this year to try and work out exactly what you can fly and where, as uh, all the rules that came into force at the beginning of 2021, of course, were quite confusing for a lot of people. All you've got to do is answer some questions on the model and the location, and it will tell you exactly where you can and can't fly and what you can and can't do. So again, another really useful little function. Over on the right, you've got the flight reports upload feature that lets you link your Nats account with Drone Scene to upload your own flight reports directly from within Drone Scene rather than having to hop over to the Nats app if you're wanting to upload uh, a planned flight. And then finally, you've got the add location, which is how you upload your perfect flying location. And this is uh, it's the upload part of the most useful part of Drone Scene, uh, sharing good flight locations for others to use. You've got a number of fields to upload the info, and once you've confirmed those details, the location, the location is automatically geocoded and gets the what free words label as well, all automatically. Um, again, incredibly useful. But as I said, that's pretty much all I wanted to go through today. It is a brilliant site, it's useful and it's free. So if you didn't know about it, now you do. Stick a shortcut on your homes, uh, on your phone's home screen, and it is just like having an app to use each time you go flying. If you have got any feedback on the app or uh, on, on the website or any ideas, go straight to the guys building this with their contact details at the bottom of the screen, or you can just drop a comment below. Either way, hope you found that useful. Until next time, have fun, happy flying.